I greet all of you in the holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who is greeting you is Ma Pastor Ragimana from the Living Gospel World Mission. This morning we are going to have our service as usual and we are going to read from the book of X. And we are going to read verses 19 to verse 31. Even though we are not going to read all the verses, I believe some of the verses you are going to read them at your own spare time. Riko Ubala Utomaka 19 Yone Iri Atakuwa Arobezwa Alajiliwa Adova Afa Otakara Azura Nabafunzi Wabadama Siko Aita Maduba. Verse 20. Ambo the Toma Ufunza Ayeso Zikoroni Achirindi Ene Mwa Wamzi. Verse 19 says, And after he took some food, he was strengthened, and for several days afterward, he remained with the disciples at Damascus, and immediately in the synagogue he proclaimed Jesus, saying, He is the Son of God. Shall we pray? Ga Yesu wa Nazareta. Ime. Mafungwa ya nera kwa bala hapa. Kana nera koya ambangao. Ndi mafungwa ya nera adiva. Ndi mafungwa asauro. Wewe mutupi wa watu. The topic of the day that we are going to speak about. We are speaking about Saul. The man who afflicted the brethren so much. Zino mafungo ashu anera dobaro seza kao nga manda. Ruko yo seza utoma ka 20. Nga murao hamu ka 19 ruwana achirobe ziwa. Hezu orobe ziwa. Atangana na bafunziwa. Pezi mafungo anenda kota marichi ya jiera ntanga manda. Ndiya utoma ka 20. Musi ono orobe ziwa. Hongo vya atoma ayi imani. Upeza urobeziwa otangana na batendi. Ambo dia funza fungo la mzimu. Uneba tangana hon. In verse 18 we find that immediately after Paul was baptized, we find that in verse 19 he met with the believers at Damascus and in verse 20 we find that he started to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Habaka 20, ndone une mafungu ashu rako baru kwa mbanga hao. In verse 20, that is where eh, the heart of the matter is. Paulo ori oro beziwa. Asato ozura, asachumeni, ambo ditoma ushuma, ndayanda zuwana zwauri. After Paul was baptized, 
He did not have time to sit down and relax. He started to work and he started to preach the gospel. Paulo oba munna we awa nauri yeso hola we atangana naye hola we a mubuza rura mufazudu kondera zino ene ufanera ushuma Paul is the man who met Jesus and Jesus said it will be hard for you to kick against the prick and then he decided to start to work and serve Jesus Paulo rison Saulo risongo hangwa uri ndu hola munna we aba asashimeri mzimu asadivi mzimu asinandaba na mzimu abi ato budzisa uri murena unyi ane akwamba na eni we must never forget that Saul did not serve God and he never knew God and even at the point where he met Jesus he even asked Jesus by the way who are you Bachivara ka verse 21 Whatever to bakanuka musi bachifa achikofunza achikwamba nga ha Yesu when you read in verse 21, you see that uh, all who heard him when he was preaching about Jesus, they were so much amazed. Vasongo hangwa uri hoi sauro ono chincha hache mufari wabatu ubo funza nga ha yeso murawa mzi. Do not forget that this soul uh, does not harass people anymore but he is the preacher of the gospel Mafungo ahone atakaza ukuma ari pafunzo uri wa rembuluwa usongo twa wodzura takuwa uambenga Yesu murawa wa mzi The story is very much interesting in the way that if you have uh, repented you do not have to sit down you just have to stand up and go out and preach the gospel of the Lord. Riwana vachivara ka 22 vawana Paulo achivana manda ufimanda awe nduri ahulera kana adihula. And when you read in verse 22 the word of God says but Saul increased all the more in strength. Paulo Saulo ritova ri kudwaira uri Paulo ene ndi Saulo ha Saulo oima amba mzimu nga manda othe and Saul stood up in all the strength and he spoke about God with all the power and the strength he had vathu bamangala and all the people marveled at him urina wi muthu ayamanda o wana gayane akhakisa na rine va yuda and people and all the Jews were marveling at him as to where did this man derive all the power that he had. And they failed to argue with this man. And they failed to argue with this man because he was speaking about Christ with all the strength. Vatu bashikerera hune basa chamu feses. Vavaraka verse twenty three. Vato wana basongocha mufeses. Vato da uriba muburai. And when you read in verse twenty three, the Jews started to conspire to put Saul out of the way by slaying him. Bachivaraka twenty four. Vato wana uri. Ba nduri ba murarera masiari na busiku uri ba muwane ba muburai And when you read in verse 24 they were guarding the city gates day and night so that they can yeah. catch him and kill him Una uri ba takare uri muburai o remburuwa vo rumangara ba wana uri ndi kwine ri muburai In order for them to derive joy after they marveled, they decided to make a conspiracy to kill him. Chine chaba hone karine batendi, 
risongo vana vivo arali mungwa wava asa divu muzimu oremburuwa ajena nga mafurufuru karita kura nenaye ritusa nenaye we as christians we do not need to have jealousy when we see a new christian coming into the church with all the zeal and the vim that he has coming to the church we need to uh, support him with all the strength that we have bashika hune bapha ba sa fesese uri na uyu munanga ngo angaba emu emu mo washuna they could not understand as to whether this man was one of them baba raka 26 ba do wana ba chi mu ofa ha ba ba funziwa and when you read in verse 26 you find that they started to become afraid of Saul ba shikelera hune ba to hamba ba re nduri ba sa tendi zwa ba ba thoma mutima tima ba re hai hoyu asiyene asimufunziwa for they did not believe he really was one of them as a disciple ba sa tende uri ngango orembuluwa ori joina they did not believe that he really repented and he was one of them arali muthu orembuluwa naho oba emuita zwivi muhuru kari takale ri mututuweze ri mupe manda ri ri ari phanda if a person has yeah. repented we need to be happy and be joyful with him and uh, uh, and and be and be happy with him ufanana ho imunna ane ramwana hapa ane aba barnabas ka verse 27 inenda to ibara just like barnabas that we read in verse 27 that i'm going to read ndi hone barnaba achi mutanganeza ha hawe amu isa haba apostola aba hanela amusi saulo achi bona murena endilani na amusi achi funza azina la yeso asa opi nge mudini wa damasiko however barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and he explained to them how along the way he had seen the lord who spoke to him and how at damascus he had preached freely and confidently and courageously in the name of jesus huto dea batendi bafana hona hoyu munna we need such christians like this man barnabas vane musi muthu orembulu aba mutanganeza ba mututuweza vamba uri ngangoho orembuluwa babudzana bafunzi people who when a person has repented they would welcome him they would even encourage him and they would even take him to the pastor hapa richi sezarwa na uri hoyi munna o jiana butanzi ha saulo musi achitangana na murena ndilani abuisa kha ba apostola uri ba apostola ngango ba mutende ba zwivhono uri ngango uri mbulu this man even yeah. took the testimony of Saul and he took it to the apostles and reported it to the apostles as a testimony that if indeed Saul had truly repented arali ri bana ba mudzimu kari bena rufuno rwabathu bane ba rembuluwa ba chivha zwithu indeed if we are truly the children yeah. of god we need to have the love of those people who have repented from their sins ati divikana zwe zwa ba zwichi kho ba itisa ndinga uri oru rembuluwa ari urobeziwa anambata kucheza na wamba pungula mzimu ati div i don't know maybe because they were jealous because this man after he had repented he started to become a preacher of the gospel of the lord una bathu bane ba rembuluwa ba chivha zwithuni there are people who repent from their sins 
Haba batu badana zitalente zemu zimu wa And these people come to the Lord with the talents and the gifts which the Lord had given unto them. And some of these people are good speakers or preachers of the word. Maybe you are just seated there in the church and you cannot explain or preach the word. Do not be envious when you see a new person who has just repented recently standing before you and preach the gospel and narrate it better than you. Vangwe baba bachikoko na wimba, vangwe baba undi zinji zune bato bazukoni. Some are able to sing and some are able to do this and that. Rine karitakare. We need to be happy whatever people are doing. Riba tanganeze sahoyi muna. And we need to welcome them just like what Barnabas had done. Riwa na hoyi muna no fi Baranaba. Achi tanganeza homutu. And we see this man Barnabas welcomed Saul in his own homestead. And further than that, he even took Saul to the home of the pastor. When a person who was so sinful has repented, what do you do with him or her? Baba Rak, verse 28, Bado wana hoyu Barnaba. O o jia, ka verse 27, Bado wana umjia ya habo, Ba amba nangama, nga, nga muisa abafunziwa, Abafunzi, not abafunzi wa. Abafunzi kana ba apostola. Maraka verse 28. Ba do wana hola muna eh, eh, saulu. Achiko vera panda na mafungo aufunza ngazina la yesu. In verse 27, you find that Barnabas took Saul to the apostles who were the preachers of the word. But when you read in verse 28... Uh, you find that the very same man called Saul, he went on to preach the gospel of the Lord. The matter that I want the most that pleases my soul above everything was that he was preaching the gospel fearlessly. Karijie vanaba mzimu boremburu waho riba tutuweze riba tanganeze na mitani yashu riba itezukona nizashu vambe hobu butanzi azwe murena vaitera vasa ohi. Let us take these people who have just repented and encourage them and befriend them and let them testify what the Lord has done them freely and confidently yeah. and boldly without any fear. This man is taking a Christianity to a higher level. Zita kusaho wutend. To 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 be to repent and to be baptized yeah. and to start to preach the gospel, these three things are taking the gospel into another level. Wutendi avuko nuchimbira wusa ambiwi. Christianity cannot be taken into another level yeah. when a person does not. Uh, take it into another level or when he 
has just sat down with it or quiet. But who were remburua ho kaba ambe gaha yeso over remburusa. People who have repented must speak confidently and boldly about Jesus who made them repentant. Vachivaraka verse 29. Vado wana uri. Nava girika. Varinge zau nduri. Vamba na eva kindura na nae. Vawana husina. Chine vangamu fashangacho. Ngandani ya uri. Vamu rarele. Uri vamu brai. When you read in verse 29, you find that even the the Greek-speaking Jews, the Hellenists, they started to make a dispute against him, but they found that they could not find anything until they started to seek to kill him. Kesaria, Vamuruma, Aya, Tariso, Uyoitani, Uyamba Kungulamzi. And when the brethren found it out, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus, which is his hometown, where he started to preach the gospel furthermore. Here in Tamsura Basa Dosik, Haboba, Bafunziwa. Ene uko uya honi, hayani hahawo, vamu diva, uko babuza mafungo maswa. The disciples wouldn't be able to get there, but he was able to get there, which is his hometown, and they know him, and he started to preach the gospel, which is a new gospel to those people. Rine saba na bamzimu kari tutuweze vangwe. We as the children of God, let us encourage other people. If you find this person has just come to the church and you know him, do not talk bad yeah. about him, greet him, and preach the gospel to him. Bachivaraka verse 31 in Eragumakayo. When you read in verse 31, which is our last verse today, Diwana Chibizo Chabatedi. We find that the church of the believers. Chabana Muraro Muhuru. They had a great peace. Chibizo Chamurena Cha Arua. The church of the church of the Lord was greatly edified. Chibizo Chamurena Cha Chimbira Chichi of Amzim. It walked in respect and reverence and fear of the Lord. Gauri, we have an abatendi. Vaneva shimeram zimu basa mopi, bachi tanganisa stuzote. Because sometimes we have Christians who serve the Lord but who do not reverence Him and they mix things. Vasa zahapa, Paul or Remburu, Saul or Remburua, Gangoho, Munaho or Remburua, Chibizoni Hashanduka Zit. Now, if you look here, you see that Saul repented indeed, but in the church, things completely changed. We want to thank the Lord because of the people like who, uh, after they repented, they do not sit down and they start to speak uh, to and preach the word of God. Riwana urinamu ya muketwa wa dawa dara kaba Christ. And the Holy Spirit yeah. uh, exhort the people. Umu ya muketwa nduwa na unera utoda zikirike. And the Holy Spirit is the one that we want in our churches. Nga urindiwa na unera wakona uriranga panda waridedeza Warifarisa, 
rako na uchimbi ila ngandi ya mzimu ngango. He is our leader and he is our helper so that we can go on the way of the Lord truly. Karifane na Saulo. Let us resemble Saul. Ritusane na bana ba mzimu Sabarnabas. And help other children of God just like what Barnabas did. Oita uri hoi muna atakuwe ajene chivizoni asicha opa nga uri oba otangane ziwa na mdini wa hoi muna anufi Barnabas. Because Barnabas made Saul to, uh, to be fearless because he welcomed him. Rine saba na bamzimu. We as the children of God I beseech you in the Lord that in these last days let us take care of the souls that come in the house of the Lord. Let us take care of the new souls that come in the house of the Lord so that God may take care of us as well. Karabero, kwa sura manda otendi ya baribuwa, ndiribuwa ifila bolo vaho, murena lo shika mbiru nizashu, saba na vaho. Ndiko tenda uruna mimu ya inodo takuwa, ya ita uyanga, ndira ye barnaba itangayo, ya togomera batu, mimu ya yo chizi waho, ine ya do takuwa, ya amba urijeso ndi murena, vawana batutuwezi, chibizo chichi zivona, Cha opa mzimu, cha gura, cha shumera mzimu, muya muketwa wadara, wabusa, zikereke nizashu, kai chichipinga cha buperu. Mura na babusi wa shukeva, richi kadiba na droze heli, line lako rishengeza, line shango lao te lako ushengera kangalo, riri murena, kababa farise, murena, kababa tonde. Rikora bera uri, wawa nendira, ya uri heli dwaze, linga pera hani. Hone rine riko trenda, ringa zina la jesu, heli dwaze lindopo. Amen.